All right, so as you can see, the other day when we shot this, it was uh, almost at an action stage and not fishable, and now it's about a week later, and we're in a beautiful fishable green conditions. Um, we have about three to six feet of visibility, and the current and the velocity are way down as well. We're not in the bushes anymore. We're kind of right uh, below the banks, and this is kind of what you look for as a steelhead fisherman, this kind of color water. Yeah, this, and this river doesn't really get that, like, it doesn't stay that green, like, uh, yeah. it'll be green for a day, it'll be kind of this kind of olive for two or three days, it'll be green for a day, and then it'll get pretty clear. Huh. So, Ben, we're here on the Clackamas River. This is a big river. It just looks like a big wash full of water to me. What makes this spot good for steelhead fishing, and what can we look at when we come up to a stretch? Yeah, so this spot's really good because the current is not that fast in here. It's uh, kind of softer, and the steelhead are lazy a little bit. <laughs> um, they're going to want to tuck in this by, this. by softer, you mean there's not as much current, There's not right? as much current. If you look out to the other side, you can see it's much, much faster on that side. Yeah. yeah. Now, on this side, it's, it's definitely slower moving. It's got some, like, disturbance on the surface so the fish feel safe. And we're anywhere from knee deep water to you know six feet deep water out there, which is what they like. It gives them enough cover. It gives them areas where they can hide and shoot over to if they get scared. Yeah. The other thing is the substrate in here is gravel and cobble mm -hmm. a lot um, with some uh, submerged boulders that we can't see out here. Yeah. So it, it, gets, it breaks the water up a little bit more and it provides structure for those fish. And so then when you're working this, if you, you take that far side of the river in this case where it's really fast they're not going to be over there or you're not going to be able to touch it because we're 50 yards away from it sure and you're casting across the current so only work where you can see so you divide the river in half that way mm -hmm. and then like i said if you want to work within your 45 you should do a, a short cast relatively short easy cast for you a medium cast for you and a long cast for you and just work that relatively fast Move down to the next, don't get overwhelmed by the, the river. Um, because they could literally be almost anywhere in this stretch where we are, which is about 100, 200 yards. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's a lot simpler when you break it down like yeah. that. Like we have fast current right there. You can see what they call the seam out there, yep. where that slack, low water meets that fast deep water. Yep. And so we want to fish from there in to ourselves, yep. where these lazy fish are going to pile up. Yep. And then that's that's really not that far. How far yep. out is that? 50 yards maybe? 50 yards. It's a pretty easy cast. Yeah. So yeah. maybe 50 by 200 yards here. That's an area that we can fish. Yep. That's an area we can fish. Yeah, yeah so. that, that you can effectively fish in because that current, if you were to cast out in that current, all it's going to do is drive your stuff and sweep it away. And you're not going to be in the zone. Yeah of where those, you know, your, your stuff is going to be higher in the water column. It's just not fishing effectively. Um, and then if you look at it that way, you can just keep going. And so how close are those first casts? You said we're going to do three areas of casting within this yeah. 50 yards right here. Yeah. So where do we want to be with our first cast? We want to be, I can get the ice out of my guides. And that's obviously going to be a little different whether you're dealing with, you know, bobber jig, yeah. blue fox, spinners, whatever. Yeah, I would just divide it into thirds. So my first cast is just like a nice, easy cast. So what is that? 30, 40 feet. Just yeah. kind of an underhand flip, really close. And I'm just going to run this. Now, I do know that the water out there is three or four feet deep. Okay. So I'm just going to let it just kind of work its way through. They can be anywhere in here because it all looks kind of the same. Um, Right there is a rock fish. <laughs> you have me convinced. Yeah. Um, yeah I, was, I was looking at the camera and not at the damn thing. I thought that was one of my eyes. Um, but that's where they're going to kind of be. And then when you do get the good old rock fish, you want to check your ice, ice out of that. You want to check your hooks to make sure you didn't bend your hook or anything out or dull it. This one looks good. Then, Does a sharp hook make a difference? Sharp hook makes a difference. Okay. And then so then go out just a little bit more. Again, a little bit harder cast. And now the current's kind of pulling me out into that seam from here. So that's why I kind of cast that way. Mm -hmm. And, and you were talking about fishing your 45s right in front yeah. of you. Yeah. And so that's, that's a good way to break it down is your three casts in this zone. Yep. And let's say you're fishing a 20 yard stretch here. Yep. And then you walk down and you 
kind of will overlap to where your last cast did end, cast ended. Yeah. And then you'll work down through that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And then you'll make that again. Easy. So we're yep. just hitting a grid pattern. Grid. Yep. One, just two, circle. three, move down. One, two, three, yep. move down. Yep. And you said we don't have to fish this spot forever. Nope. Right? So how many casts will you take before you want to move down? Let's say you come to a brand new spot, it's just you in the area. How many times will you cast right here before you move down to the next spot? Three to five. Three to five. Okay. And then I'll move. And then I might come back up. If, if like I had a like a bobber down or a fish on or I really liked it. I might come back up and do it again. And I might switch like my jig color or something like that. Yeah, uh, change the presentation. Yeah, change right? my presentation out do the same kind of thing. Okay, so now we're fishing out to that seam. So you're yep. right on that break between yep. that fast moving water and this. Is that where you think the fish are gonna sit the majority of the time? Uh yeah, probably, because it's four to five feet deep right there. Okay. In this spot. Yeah, and I would go down much more than that, and then I would rail back up, move down. Uh, Stick and move, huh? Stick and move. 